What is going on everyone? Leon checking in and we're at it again with another episode. Now today's content is an increased focus on Microsoft Windows and how to fix a slow running gaming PC. And this episode is an example of how troubleshooting doesn't have to be complicated. So I had this problem occur one day where no matter what game I was playing, I had a huge drop in controller performance as well as frame rate. And this was unusual for me because I didn't remember any changes I made outside of normal system updates. However, after some investigation, it seems that the Omen Gaming Hub changed my gaming settings from performance to either balanced or eco. Now, if you're looking to get the best gaming performance out of your Windows gaming PC, balanced or eco modes are a no-no. So in this episode, we're going to cover how to remedy this issue as well as some other basic tips. Now, if you're watching on YouTube and are looking for more content related to this topic, you can find it on the Microsoft Windows PC playlist. And as always, you can find items mentioned or shown in this content at the Amazon storefront link in the description below. All things said, let's go ahead and get into it. So here we are on my HP Omen 16, and this is important to mention because depending on the computer you have, depending on who manufactures it, say Alienware or Asus, things may be a little bit different, but we're going to open up the Omen Gaming Hub. And the nice thing about the HP Omen 16 is there's an actual keyboard shortcut for that. Now, I believe other computer manufacturers do this as well, but I'm going to tap the shortcut here and this is going to open the Omen Gaming Hub. And in general, this is just an application where you can customize your gaming PC and also play with optimizations for it, depending on what you're looking to do at the given moment. So depending on your PC manufacturer, this application is probably going to have a different name and it's going to look a little bit different. But in general, these applications all do a similar thing. So here we are on the homepage of the Omen Gaming Hub. And you can see that we have the side menu on the left there. And I'm going to look for my device. It's going to be Omen 16. And we have this arrow that we can click on to have a drop down menu appear. And then we are going to look for performance control and click on it. And that's going to refresh the page here. And we're going to have some options for customizing performance. So you can see that we have power mode, thermal control, and system temperature. Now you can see that in power mode category, I have performance selected, but when I was having this slow issue with my Omen 16, I was either in balanced or eco modes. And I believe that happened after an update and it reset this setting within the application, which is why I had the drop in performance for my controller as well as the drop in frame rate when gaming. Now, interesting enough, when it comes to the power mode category, you can see that we have this option in smaller print. It says auto switch to eco mode. We're going to click the information icon there and this is going to give us some information about what this option would do if we selected it. So it says enable auto switch to automatically activate eco mode when AC is unplugged or when using a low wattage adapter. So keep that in mind too if you do have your PC unplugged or if you're using a low wattage adapter that can affect your gaming performance such as controller input and frame rate. And then if we look down below power mode, we have thermal control here, and this is going to be your fan speed. Now for the default here, it is set to auto. I've been able to use auto with no issues. I haven't noticed a huge drop in performance, but there is a max mode. Now with the max mode, it's going to increase the fan speed. As you see here, we're climbing towards 4,000 RPM. We're above 4,000 RPM now. And you might even hear in the mic that the fans are getting louder. These do get pretty loud. So basically all we're doing is increasing fan speed to keep the system temperature cool. But if you are using this mode, just keep in mind those fans will get louder. You may want to use earbuds or headphones or turn up the volume, anything like that. That's the only con here. Now, again, I don't have to use max mode for myself. You know, again, auto seems to work fine for thermal control. But you might want to use Max if you're using high performance features in a game such as ray tracing. So anyways, I'm going to switch back to auto for my thermal control here. 
slow those fans down again that's not something that i have to use myself but that is out there if you are needing max for some reason now just a side note i am currently playing resident evil for the remake and i love it i'm totally hooked on it and it runs really well on the hp omen 16. now just to give you an idea of what hardware is in here we have an intel core i7 I have 16 gigs of RAM, and then I have a one terabyte hard drive. Now, for those who are looking to get into a Windows gaming PC, a laptop specifically, for these kind of games, I would definitely recommend at least 16 gigs of RAM, um, and also at least one terabyte hard drive. There are smaller options, but when it comes to games, these games, uh, they take up a lot of space on these devices, and as large as one terabyte sounds, it fills up really quick, especially if you're also doing other things like downloading videos or content creation, you're going to want that space. So if you have the money, opt for the one terabyte hard drive, maybe even bigger. Uh, I, I could easily do with a bigger drive. My one terabyte hard drive is almost filled up here. But these are things you learn as you buy these devices. So let's cover other areas to check if you do have a slow running laptop gaming PC. And we're going to return back to the power adapter. Now you wanna make sure you are using the power adapter and that it is the correct wattage for your gaming PC. Now, if you are using the power adapter that's shipped with your PC, the correct wattage shouldn't be an issue. But if either of these are off, it may force your PC to change its power mode from performance to either balanced or eco mode. And this in turn will affect your gaming performance. And then if you do use your gaming PC for long gaming sessions, or you're just concerned about your PC getting warm, or it does seem to be getting warm, you can use a cooling pad like the unit I have here. This is the Klim RGB laptop cooling pad we recently covered. It works really well. It has RGB, it's customizable. It looks really cool and it works really well. Basically we have a fan built into this and it's going to allow increased airflow while your fans are still running on your gaming PC too. It's just going to keep things more in check, keep things running cool a lot more efficiently. So that is it for today's episode. If you enjoyed it and found it useful, please leave a like. If you're watching on YouTube and have any questions or comments, as always drop those down below and I'll do my best to answer them. Now there are three ways you can support the content. The first way is to click on the Amazon storefront link in the description below. There you'll find items that I have bought or would buy and anything you buy from the storefront does support the content. The next way you can show your support is by sharing this episode with someone who might enjoy it or find it useful. And the last way you can show your support is just by clicking the subscribe button. Now liking and subscribing are important because those are ways to vote on whether you like the content. Liking and subscribing are also important for new viewers and listeners. If new viewers and listeners see likes and subscribers, they're going to think that the content is helpful, worth watching, and listening to. As always, thanks for watching and may the universe flow in your favor. And until next time, Leon checking out.